these days sucks. Hey, my name is Shandy Singh, and let's talk about how we can fix it. Approximately 3.3 million cars are registered in the Bay Area. An average of 83 hours per person are wasted while remaining idle due to traffic jams. Many factors cause traffic jams, however one factor is traffic lights. Current traffic light systems are based on timers. Such systems are not precise and cannot adjust to changes in traffic flow, leading to traffic jams. Major cities implement timer-based systems in downtown areas. So if you miss one light, you have to stop at every traffic light. Another issue is that current camera lights are only used for catching violators, but do not offer any analytics such as how many cars at an intersection. And lastly, cities install electromagnetic systems that only determine the presence of a car, but not how many cars. So what can we do to improve this system? So a proposed solution using a video analytic software capable of detecting objects and known as YOLO. YOLO is a real-time object detection system that uses machine learning algorithms to recognize and label objects such as vehicles. By using YOLO in conjunction with Amazon IoT services, we are able to create a real-time and smart traffic controller that is capable of providing traffic analytics such as number of vehicles at an intersection. Now let's dive deeper into the system design and see an overview of how the system is interconnected. Uh, I'm Siwai Wong. I'm working on this project. I've mainly focused on the IoT connection, the hardware side, and the database management. Okay, so we can start the demo of uh, the IoT device right now. Uh, I will show you how uh, the YOLO will upload uh, the data to uh, to the AWS IoT. And then first of all, we have a data file that saves uh, tons of uh, photos that uh, of uh, many from the web. And then it's like a uh, fake data for us to, to test. Okay, and then we start running our program. And then currently it's loading the, the weight and then start to process the data. And I have set up the subscriber to the topic uh, on the AWS IoT. So if there's any message coming, and then you will see here. So the current time is 6.45. And then we've just got the new, uh, a new message coming from the IoT device. And then we can go to the DynamoDB to see, uh, because there are, we already set the rules and then any new message will push directly to this uh, database. Okay, so I think 645 is this too. Sorry, I forgot to query the data, so it will be a little bit messy, but here is it. And then we also have uh, a trigger to trigger the different Lambda function. And then uh, we also create a second uh, global index so we can do the sorting much uh, effectively for for our lambda function. Okay, we uh, first of all we create a structure uh, of a data structure like uh, in JSON format, and then uh, this is will be the message that push uh, to the IoT AWS IoT, and then these are all using the AWS uh, APIs to make the AWS connection. Uh, for example, here, uh, AWS IoT clients, and then configuration, the endpoint, set the endpoint, and then and then put all the certificates, private key, and uh, to them. And uh, this is our main function. So first of all, we just connect uh, to the AWS, and then subs and then and then like uh, run the YOLO function, uh, detect, and uh, it returns the it returns the how many cars in that picture, and then we can push it to the IoT using the publish function. My name is Casey Reyes. I'm a software engineer major, and I'll be going over one of our lambda functions. 
So Jay talked about MQTT and how it publishes to our AWS logs. Using DynamoDB, we created tables that update according to our Lambda functions. We will check out our traffic table. As you can see, under our traffic table, there are different locations with a flow count. The flow count is the number of cars that are waiting at a specific stoplight. Now we will check out one of our Lambda functions that uses this database. Traffic control will send and receive signals from AWS to our Raspberry Pi. The signals are the on and off signal. The way the on signal is triggered is when a request is sent, the location parameter and flow parameters are passed to verify that the stoplight has a long queue of cars to set the stoplight from green to red or from red to green. The off signal is triggered when the stoplight switches from uh, green to red when opposite stoplights from the same location is triggered. The lambda function is being triggered. Uh, the lambda function will send an MQTT message on or off to our topic. Uh, the topic name is update traffic light. And then right now, let's see how the traffic light is going from the red to green. Okay, and then we can demonstrate another one, like from green to red. So in conclusion, you saw a tested simulated version of our real traffic light controller with the Raspberry Pi. We use the AWS IoT platform and the YOLO framework to create this whole system.